Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is Katie's brother has cystic fibrosis, her husband has no family history of cystic fibrosis. What is the chances that Katie's child has inherited the cystic fibrosis allele and is a carrier of cystic fibrosis mutation? Here is the four answers to choose from. As usual, I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your oven first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. And here is a picture that explains all the uh, problems uh, with different organs and systems in people who inherited two uh, recessive alleles. So uh, those people who inherited only one uh, mutated allele uh, would have normal phenotype, but those people who inherited two recessive alleles, one from each parent, would express this genetic disorder and uh, would express syndromes that is shown here on this picture. Uh, syndromes meaning that there are many different um, problems with many different uh, systems and organs. So, uh, first of all, let's draw a pedigree of the family. Let's start with Katie's parents. Every one of us has two parents, uh, father and mother, and of course uh, Katie also have to have mother and father uh, in this family. They have two children, one is a male, and uh, this is uh, Katie. And her brother, we know, affected with this genetic disorder. What does it mean? That uh, his genotype have to be uh, two recessive alleles. One allele uh, her brother have to get from one parent, another recessive allele uh, her brother have to get from another parent so that means that both mother and father would be carriers so the genotype would be one normal allele and one defective allele one normal allele and one defective allele so as you see uh, parents are phenotypically normal parents are carriers but the son and uh, brother of Katie um, affected with this genetic disorder because he got two recessive alleles, uh, one from each parent. And he was uh, unlucky to get uh, both defective alleles. So, what is the probability that uh, Katie also would be carrier? And probability would be... Uh, very easy to predict if we build a Punnett square. So her mother is heterozygous, her father also heterozygous, and when we build a Punnett square, we can predict probability of her also to be a carrier, because only carrier can give to the progeny recessive allele. So that's why we are interested in uh, her chances to be a carrier. We know for sure, we know for 100% that she doesn't belong to this genotype to which her brother belongs because if she would belong to this genotype she would express many of these uh, disorders and we can exclude this variant. So we left with uh, three variants here. Uh, she is phenotypically normal but as you see her chances to be a carrier would be 2 out of 3. So out of uh, 3 normal phenotypes, so 3, all these uh, genotypes means normal phenotype, but uh, 2 out of this 3 would be her chances to be a carrier. So we can say that um, chances of the Katie to be uh, a carrier would be 2 out of 3 to have a heterozygous genotype. 
We also know that uh, her husband uh, doesn't have a family history uh, of uh, this genetic disorder. So we have to assume that uh, his genotype would be two normal alleles. And let's once again build a Punnett square. So genotype of her mate on top, genotype of uh, Kate here on the side. And once again, we build a Punnett square. And let's see what is the probability for the progeny to be a carrier. So capital A small a here and capital A small a here. As you see, probability for the progeny to be a carrier would be one half or two out of four or fifty percent. So what we have here is two thirds probability for Katie to be a carrier and one half probability if she is going to be a carrier that they would have um, children who is going to be carriers. So we have to multiply uh, these two probabilities and this is going to be answer D. So two thirds probability for Katie to be a carrier and one half probability uh, for the progeny to be also carriers. So this is answer. So as you see, correct answer is answer D. This is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.